Well, it's been fascinating, I think, to watch uh, the rise, the development of GB News, of course, much maligned and mocked upon launch, uh, now achieving some pretty good ratings and giving the big boys a run for their money. And we really do need that because I think TV News has been so lefty dominated now for so long that having that alternative as a counterbalance is absolutely vital alongside, of course, little channels like mine. If you look at what they're doing, for instance, Charlie Peters uh, is doing the first GB News Investigates documentary. This Saturday at 8 p.m., tune in to a GB News Investigates documentary as we tell the full story of the grooming gang scandal. My childhood had been stolen. We will expose the cover-ups that have kept this national scandal under wraps for decades. Not one person has been held accountable. Our investigation uncovers the true scale of this outrage. I want to see senior officials held legally to account. On GB News, grooming gangs, Britain's shame. GB News announcing some pretty lofty ambitions, some quite big aims. That the business goal of GB News apparently would be to become the number one news channel in the UK by 20. 28 that gb news is now uh, entering phase three of its development pivoting sharply towards financial sustainability and profit and indeed with that business goal in mind to become the number one news channel in the uk by 2028 now i'm sure some people will scoff at that but just remember as i said the progress the channel has made now getting some pretty punchy ratings after being dismissed and mocked at launch. Uh, but let me know your thoughts. A big, big ambition, a big goal there set out by GB News. It'll be interesting to see how they progress and get on from here. As ever, I will keep bringing you the very latest, so please do out this video a quick thumbs up. And of course, as ever, cheers for watching.